Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the Export Options panel. Now to get to this panel, we're going to come from uh, this persona, the Draw persona, to the Export persona, and it should come up on the right hand side. You can choose uh, defaults if you have defaults selected, and you can choose selection. You can also choose between how you want to resample the image. You can choose its pixel format, its file format, the preset that's in, and whether you want it in matte or a certain color. Now this sets the background color for the exported image under matte. The resampler allows you to select resampling method used in exporting the file. The pixel format allows you to set the color mode for the exported image, while file format is just whatever file format is uh, needed. So the panel has a bunch of different options. You can come up here for panel preferences. Um, there's different modes between these and you can load a bunch of presets. This is uh, especially effective if you want to quickly export things just like say I want to export the YouTube logo image or just the uh, back uh, red rectangle. I can export them as needed. So if I needed to have not be visible in export so if I wanted to do that, I can just have this, you know, uh, send it as a PDF or a PNG. And uh, you can even do slices. So you can make a selection within this. So if I just wanted to get this, that could be something exported. So the export panel is just pretty useful for exporting like different aspects of the drawing or the drawing altogether. Uh, it's pretty useful, but for basic exports, I would just use uh, the export function under a file. Um, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo Tutorials. Thanks for watching.